What's up, everybody? So, you know, enter. I already start my videos with that a lot. He was getting old. Anyway, made it out to Devil's Lake this past weekend with some buddies of mine. Uh, Matt, ND Yacker, Jacob Dollabo from Jagged Tooth Tackle, and uh, another buddy of ours, Kyle. I just I just met Matt and Kyle this weekend. Really cool guys. Um, went up there, did some fishing, ran into some speed bumps, you could say. Uh, the wheeler we had that was pulling the trailer, we got almost to our spot, and the belt blew on it. And um, Kyle walked two miles back to his pickup, got a toolbox, walked two miles back, fixed the wheeler, and was still acting kind of goofy, so we didn't risk going all the way up to our spot. So the fishing was pretty poor this weekend. I didn't get any video shot. My GoPro actually froze up on me, but I only caught a couple northerns and a couple walleyes through the whole two days. So anyway, but what this video about today is what these pike and walleyes eat out in Devil's Lake area. Um, it's a lot different than around like Detroit Lakes, Minnesota or anywhere, most places. Um, the fish out there have a different forage base, you know. Uh, anyway, I got a, I don't know, it's probably like a 30 inch northern and a, maybe an 18 inch walleye here. We're actually going to open these guys up and see what they eat. You know, a lot of people ask what those fish feed on out there, so we're about to find out. Um, also, I'm just going to take the fillet off this walleye and... Take the skin off quick show you guys how to do that little bonus footage i don't know if you don't like it sorry all right guys i'm not sure sure exactly how the lighting is going to be on this but should be pretty good i'm going to actually move this pike up to the top of the sink here quick got this walleye he's a little frozen i didn't clean him last night so i'm just going to take a fillet off this walleye right down the back here a lot of people use electric knives um i think you know i like i like the old school feel of a handle you know so you can control what you're doing right here it's just i don't know what you call it just my preference um if i'm cleaning gosh if i'm cleaning a, a jar of giant amount of fish i do have an electric knife but i just prefer this this knife feels super dull hold on a second that feels, that feels really dull. Anyway, oh yeah, it's much better. Much, much better. Go right up along above the ribs there, cut through those pin bones. What you want to do, just like that. Right down against the ribs like that. Alright, see that? Oh, that is a really nice fillet. Alright. Walleyes are actually really clean, easy to clean. If you guys notice, my apartment's a mess. That's what happens when you hunt and fish and trap all the time. Skin, I got my garbage over here. And I just make sure and take that pin bone out. A lot of people don't. A lot of people get their gums darn near poked out. Get stuck in your throat. Choke to death. Kids don't like it. Kids, kids run one of those pin bones, all of a sudden they're like, yeah, I don't want to eat fish anymore ever again. There you go, that's a bones fillet. Anyway, let's get over to Willy Walleye here. Let's see what he's got. Oh, in his stomach. Huh. There's some eggs. Why does that fish have eggs in December? in this walleye stomach is there you guys huh well it's pike I feel something big in that pike stomach hopefully that <laughs> well let's do this let's fillet off this pike first thing I'm going to do is cut these bottom fins off because all they do is get in the way and yes I need a new knife You guys know I haven't cleaned northern in quite a while, but right down the back here, right above that, 
spine bone you could say. Right out the bottom. Normally I'd have a bigger cleaning surface for this because I mean, this pipe's a little bit bigger. Makes it tough to uh, keep on the board. Keep going down. Pike are really easy to clean with an electric flay knife, but I really enjoy cleaning fish, so. Alright. Right above those rib bones. There we go. Put that pipe fully over there and look at oof. Wow, there's something really big in this thing's stomach. Like what the heck is that? It's kind of gross, you guys. But I'm willing to risk it for you guys. You guys. Look at this. That is a brat. There is a giant bratwurst in this freaking northern stomach and I'm not even crapping you guys it's gross it smells like chili cheese dog or something oh there's a smell too this is pretty gross I'm gonna wash this thing off this isn't a hot dog this is like a a hog dog this thing's gross oh, it's, oh. I'm gonna oh this is really gross I'm washing it off though Oh my gosh, you guys, this is sick. Dude, this thing's been grilled. Those are grill marks. Oh, anybody out in Devil's Lake area, that looks like a wild rice brat or something. Jalapeno. That's what it is. Those are jalapenos. Dude. The, the close up, see them? Little green chunks. I'm not, I'm not going to smell it, I'm gonna, but I can smell like garlic and these is a jalapeno brat that was inside the stomach of this northern pike, you guys. What the heck? That is just crazy. I mean, it's, you guys can see it. You guys see me clean it. Right there, plain as day. Wow. Well, guys, that's really gross. I'm going to have to wash my hand 12 times now. Jalapeno brat. Well, there you go, guys. There's right there. Now you know what to pick up for your next northern pike fishing expedition. Jalapeno brats. A little expensive to be spending on pike. But, wow, yeah. Well, there we go. I mean, that's exactly what was in the stomach of that northern pike. Um, you know, while I'm here and got your attention quick. I'm going to clean this northern fillet up for you guys. This is the my boneless method to, to remove the, or get all the Y bones out. A lot of people don't like pike, but they can be the tastiest table fare you've ever had. Like, I don't, you know, I don't want to be that guy, but walleye is like number four on my favorite, like, fish to eat scale it's you know top is it's, it's a kind of a toss-up you know I like bluegill and crappie and especially like giant perch well I mean any perch is a, a big perch you know 10 10 11 12 inches and you get some meat off of it but anyway so here is that pike fillet and if you run your fingers or you can actually see right there see that that's the Y bone right there you guys so what you want to do is, you want to go just above the Y bone, put the knife in straight down, and you can actually feel the blade. Here, listen, if you guys can hear that, oh yeah, hear that? Y bone right there, okay? So you go down, all the way to the wide bone, and then you actually, you kind of peel this away is what you do. Get the knife at an angle. And you can just slowly peel this away and have one 
solid piece, okay? So I'm going to peel this down just so you guys can see. There's the bone right there. Okay? You can do you can go all the way down and you'll go right to the Y bone, okay? That's method number 1. You can do this whole thing. Or what I prefer to do to make it easier is I'll cut it into chunks like so and like so. Okay? Now you got three chunks here. Now you can use the whole length of the blade at one full swoop and take that chunk out, okay? Now you got the Y bones here. Then you go directly underneath the Y bones. Oops, let me see here. It's been a while. Oh, I missed one. Go directly beneath the Y bones, and then as soon as you get under the Y bones, you cut up at an angle. Now this chunk here is all Y bones, okay? Now if you want, you can throw this away because it's full of bones, or if you guys pickle fish, keep these. Pickle them, okay? So I need to see this whole this whole chunk right here, this whole chunk. Zero bones. Okay? Alright. Same thing. This one here. I'm just gonna cut up at an upward angle. There you go. Also, no bones again. And you get right below that Y bone, like so. Pass it, cut right up at an upward angle. There you go. It's again all bones, all clean pike fillet meat right there. Do another chunk here. Oh, there's one bone on the end of that. Pull that guy off of there. There we go. Same thing. Cut right. It's, you're pretty much cutting right on the lateral line. Cut down a little bit as soon as you get in, maybe quarter inch. Just aim upward and cut that chunk of meat out. That's, I mean, there's no waste there. Look at that. I mean, there's a little bit of meat on there, but the white, there's a bone in there, so you can't eat it anyway. There we go. Another beautiful chunk. Um, the end is a little bit trickier because, in fact, right in here there is, doesn't matter, doesn't matter how you cut it, there's a bone in there. So what I do is I'll, I'll put my knife in just lightly and I'll push it down because you'll feel the end of that bone. So there was no bone in that piece right there, the tail end. This piece right here actually has a bone in it. See, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna cut above the Y bone, like a normal, or below the Y bone, like I normally would, like that. Now, even if I run my knife in here, hear that? This bone right here, there's a chunk of bone in there. So that piece, I just say it for pickling because you're gonna do that or you're gonna pick bones out of it. Oh gosh. Well, anyway, guys, could you believe that? There you go. Natural prey in North Dakota for big pike are jalapeno brats. I'm not sure if they were reproduced naturally by themselves. Maybe they spawn in a lake. I don't know. Check the minister, the North Dakota DNR page. See if uh, brats naturally reproduce. If not, well, <laughs> well, guys, you know. <clears throat> Besides, you know, the the dead, you know, that smelt that was in there, that's probably somebody from fishing in the area. Um, on a normal basis, what I find in their stomachs are shrimp, thousands and thousands of shrimp. And you'll find small perch and white bass, also find some walleyes. But it actually turns uh, the meat of these pike a little, you know, I mean, like a, like a pinkish color, to be honest with you. And it makes them taste quite a bit better. All right, guys. So I cleaned those two walleyes. I was going to show it to you, but I'm not going to because there was nothing in those walleye stomachs and nothing in the big one either. But we did have some success seeing that bratwurst in this northern pike stomach. That's crazy. Uh, maybe next time I head up there in a few weeks, maybe I'll find a ribeye in the next one. Who knows? Anyway, you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm going to share everybody's channel link that I was up there with. Even though you don't see them on my video, I'm going to put their links in the description down below because they're some awesome YouTubers. Um, had a great time with those guys. Love to fish them again sometime. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks much. Bye.